Welcome to this video about pictograms. And before um, I start um, to ask some questions about this uh, type of diagram, I just want to give you a bird's eye view of what we are doing. We have, oh, excuse me, we have different ways to present data, okay? For instance, pictograms, but we also have like bar charts, line graphs, or dual bar charts, histograms, pie charts, frequency tables, yeah? And there are probably more ways to, to present data. Because if I, for instance, I'm looking or I'm asking all my friends the amount of um, pocket money they're receiving, you know, and I, and I go around the, the class and I ask somebody 50 and somebody else 48, I'm asking all these people, how much pocket money do you receive? Yeah, and then the next day I continue and I have, I have a different pen, yeah? And for, uh, after second break I continue in green and then back to blue. And I have all this information. Now just looking at all these numbers, it's quite confusing. And, and it's difficult to, to say anything really meaningful about all these numbers, okay? So just a sheet of numbers is difficult to make any conclusions um, uh, from. And that's why we present our data um, yeah, in several different ways, so, so it's easier to interpret the situation, okay? So what are we doing now? Pictograms is just one way to present information. And uh, why is it a pictogram? Because we use pictures, okay? What is the situation here? Let's say this is a flower shop, okay? And you see the days of the weeks, and then some flowers there drawn by me. Yeah, and um, um, yes, that's probably the most creative I can get. Yeah, so apologies for that. And a pictogram always has a key next to it, yeah, or above or below it, where it says, well, each picture, yeah, represents in this case a hundred flowers. Okay, and a pictogram, if you have to create one yourself, you should also make sure that, let's say, the pictures, the images are nicely aligned, okay? Because then you can draw some uh, conclusions uh, very easily from it, yeah? Because for instance, a question could be, on which day did uh, the flower man sell the most flowers? Yeah, on which day? And then everybody looking at the pictogram will say, well, that's gonna be Saturday, yeah? Because they're nicely aligned, okay? So you can easily see Saturday has the most flowers, so Saturday is, is yeah, the best day in the week for this guy. Yeah, they could ask how many flowers did the flower man or a flower woman, by the way, uh, sell on Friday. So on Friday, so you go to Friday, I see three of those flowers. So please don't say three flowers, no. On Friday he sells 300 flowers, yeah, three of them, and they are both 100 each, so one, two, 300. Okay, they could ask on which two days does the flower man sell an equal amount of flowers? Yeah, then you would say, well, that's on Tuesday and Wednesday. Yeah, there's an equal amount of flowers sold on those two days. What about Thursday? What do you think, guys? How many flowers did this guy or woman sell on Thursday? Well, that is half a flower. That's a full flower. So one and a half flowers. So 150 flowers sold on Thursday. And then they could ask, for instance, why do you, do you think yeah, on Sunday he sells no flowers? And then you could say, well, because he is closed on Sundays. Yeah? That's, by the way, in Western society, perhaps when we're in the Middle East, it would be empty on Friday uh, because uh, then we would say, well, because he or she is, is, is free on Friday. He or she is not working. Okay? So a pictogram, a very good way to present information because it's very easy to look at and it's very easy to, to interpret the situation rather than just, let's say, head back to this sheet, all these numbers of amount of flowers sold or whatever. Very difficult to say anything about it. And that's a very nice and clean way to present your information. Okay, so pictograms. Uh, check my next videos for other ways to present information. And check my site, explainingmaths.com, for more free resources. And uh, please like and share this uh, video if it was useful to you, okay? Because then I can help your friends too. Okay, go to the next video and I'll see you there.